So one of the requests that I've been getting a lot is um, information on how to set up Mac port or how to set up DNS mask, uh, which is kind of the last final step I haven't documented through a video. Um, so in getting the Siri proxy working. So uh, I wanted to just do a quick video on how to do that. Um, I'm not really going to show it in depth because uh, it's kind of hard to uninstall it and then get it back all installed. Uh, but uh, I'll just go ahead and demo it. Um, and that is uh, first, you go to MacPorts.org, and you get MacPorts. You probably have MacPorts if you if you do any sort of um, development or, or um, open source work or anything on your uh, Mac. But if you don't have it, go pick it up. It's pretty useful, um, and it has a large number of ports available. Uh, once you have it, um, you simply have to um, pull up. Uh, uh, command prompt or a, a, a terminal and then type sudo port install d d n s m a s q it'll ask you for your password um, and it says yeah and it's actually cleaning it um, because it's uh, it's already installed but it would install it if uh, you didn't have it once you've got it installed um, you need to make one quick and easy modification to it. Um, and that is, the way you do that is you open up the dnsmask.conf. Um, it's pro it's usually going to be in uh, user local op, oh, I'm sorry, opt local etsy uh, dnsmask.conf. Um, so go into there and then just like bb edit dnsmask.conf if you have BB edit. If you don't, you should get it. It's awesome. Um, so once you've got it open, um, you're going to scroll down a little bit to the section uh, where it's talking about adding addresses. And you really can put this anywhere, but you just need to add this one configuration option. Address equals gazoni.apple.com slash 10.0.2.1. This is the default address if you're sharing your connection from your Mac, if you're doing like Wi-Fi sharing of your Ethernet connection. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be whatever your Mac's internal IP address is. So it might be like 192. Dot, yeah, you do have to actually make it writable. 192.168.1.100 or something like that. Whatever, whatever your Mac's internal IP is. Um, in this case, for me, it's that. Uh, once you do that, you got to get started up. And the trick is um, the trick to that is that when you're sharing your um, Mac's internet connection, uh, it starts up an instance of bind automatically, and that's going to take up uh, TCP port 53 or, or UDP port 53, which is what DNS runs on, um, both of them actually, but uh, since it takes up that port, you need to uh, kill the bind service first before you can actually get DNS mask started up. If you try and start up DNS mask, uh, Without it, you know, opt local sbin DNS, it's going to say failed to create port listening on socket, whatever, address is already in use. Um, so you do kill all, oops, sudo kill all uh, named, which is what the bind service is called. Um, and if there were processes found, it wouldn't say this. It would kill it, and then you should be able to start up DNS mask without any difficulty whatsoever. Um, once it's started up, uh, anything that's using your computer as a DNS server will automatically have its traffic routed uh, through <coughs> DNS mask. Um, and uh, if you've got the uh, entry in here, then you should be routing any gazoni.apple.com traffic to your computer, where if you have the Siri proxy running uh, and everything set up, it will process it and pass it on. So good luck.